So the first thing you need to do once you get into NSXT Manager is add what we call a Compute Manager. Typically this would be a vCenter. So to do that you're going to go to System, then we're going to go down to Fabric and Compute Managers. What this is going to do is give you access to be able to actually have NSXT pull inventory from vCenter and also it'll allow NSXT Manager to do things like create port groups in vCenter. So this is really critical and this is really your first step once you get into NSXT Manager. To add the Compute Manager is super easy. As I mentioned, you go to Compute Managers, then hit Add. All we hit do here is uh, put some kind of friendly name. I like to make this the same as the FQDN just to make things easy to navigate, but this can just be a, a generic name. It could be something like Test vCenter if we wanted to. Let me close that, or get that out of the way. Uh, in my case, as I mentioned, I'm gonna go with the FQDN, so I'm gonna type it exactly as it is. And then for the FQDN down here, actually what I'll do is just copy that and paste it. Uh, and as mentioned here, you can actually use the IP if you don't have DNS entries for all of these as well. Then we're gonna use our SSO credentials. If you followed along with my instructions, it'll just be administrator at vSphere.local. And that's all you need. Hit add. And we're gonna accept that. All right, so this will take a couple of minutes. Once it goes into the success state and it shows that it's up and everything's green, then you can proceed with the rest of the configuration. 